Hi. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? Well, we'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. That's not gonna change overnight. Hi. You find those raiders? Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the men. How I ended up as the last one. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well... It's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been a mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. 
Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman, and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Miniman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We can use more settlements supporting our cause. Excuse me. Did the Minutemen send you? Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but who knows how many are back at their base. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Take care of your gun, it'll take care of you. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Excuse me. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of them. My energy? What do you mean? Thought I told you before, kid. I saw you leave that icebox. I know your pain. This world, it's not yours. But here you are. The sight can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... It's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... That's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid.